Hello. Hi. Guys, what's wrong with you now? I'm trying to shoot some videos here. You want me to shoot for you? Yo, what's up YouTube community, it's your boy Tony here and I'm back again with another video. So this is the first ever collaboration video I'll be doing on my channel and guess what guys, it's on Fiverr versus Upwork. Okay, so at the end of this video you should be able to make a decision where to start your freelancing career, either to start with Fiverr or on Upwork. And with me on the channel to help me, you know, dissect this topic is Shanteria. Let's give her a round of applause. Shantera, welcome to our channel. So Shantera, just a brief info. Shantera is a Nevada-based voiceover and also audio producer. She's also a top rated seller on Upwork. So she's the best fit, like you are learning from her experience. She's the best fit for this topic. So on the on her part, she's going to you know give the pros and cons and talk about you know in general Upwork and why she thinks is a better platform to kickstart your freelancing career. While on the other hand to talk about Fiverr is your boy. Okay, so I'm a level two seller and also one time nominated top rated seller on Fiverr. All right, so I'm going to be talking about on my own side, talking about how you know Fiverr is a good fit or not a good fit for you to kickstart your freelancing career. So before we even get started, I would like you to do one thing for me, please. I linked uh, Santeria channel on the description, so please go there, click, show her some love, subscribe, and also you know like her, her videos. Uh, who will start first? I'm the owner of the channel, so Shanteria, over to you. Take it off. Hey everybody, how's it going? What is up? How you doing? My name is Shanteria, and I want to thank Tony for connecting with me to collaborate on this video where I actually give you a little bit of knowledge about what I've done with Upwork and how fantastic I feel Upwork is and whatnot like that. So starting out, Here's a little backstory about me. I have been a freelancer online for the past five years now. So Upwork is one of the platforms that I utilize in order to connect with potential clients online. Upwork is a pretty fantastic platform. I feel like some of the strengths of Upwork include the fact that you can work with clients from all over the world. And those clients or potential clients are actually already there on the platform looking for what you can do for them. So it's up to you to get in front of those potential clients as opposed to having to call a bunch of businesses to see if they actually need the work that you can provide for them. Those potential clients are already there on Upwork looking for what you can do, what you can offer them. So that is one of the greatest trends of Upwork is that you have those clients, potential clients already there plugged in that are looking for you right away, kind of similar to Fiverr. Um, so here is how Upwork works. It is similar to Fiverr in a sense, of course, because it is a freelance platform where, as I said, the clients are already there looking for your work. So you put up you a profile on Upwork starting out. And then this pro with this profile, you can't just let it sit there and do nothing. You have to do something else with it. You have to engage on the platform itself. And the way that you can engage with those potential clients, the way you can get in front of those potential clients, because that's how you actually earn income is by getting in front of those potential clients. And although Upwork is great for bringing in potential clients and new freelancers join the platform you have to stand out because there's a lot of people on these platforms so the way you stand out is by putting in what upwork has are called proposals so when you put in proposals these proposals are in a sense to me i call them as applications so it's like these applications that you put in to get in front of these potential clients that are looking for your work to specifically say, hey, you know, this is what I have to offer. This is my portfolio. This is what I can do for you to try to get them to hire you for their jobs. Now, with Upwork, it comes with it's a it's a platform that initially starts off where you don't have to pay anything up front, which to me is fantastic because I don't like having to pay anything up front. So Fiverr, Upwork and People Per Hour are the three platforms that I utilize. There's no upfront cost, but they take a percentage of your sales. So with Upwork, it starts off at 20 percent. And then as you're on the platform making more money and as you um, acquire repeat clients that continue to, to order from you, then that percentage will go down to about 10%. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so that's a great strength, I feel, of Upwork. So when you get on the platform and you have your gig up or you, now you, get, you have your profile up, they do have it now to where you can actually put up these different little gig things of where you show what you can offer the potential clients because I have voiceover and I have videos. So you can put those up. But initially you want your profile. Now with these proposals, 
it will only take about three minutes, three to five minutes tops to actually put in, send a proposal over to a, over to a potential client. So although I say it is like putting in applications, so to speak, it is much easier to put in an application online on a freelance platform like Upwork as opposed to in person. So we gotta go and try to get the interview. You gotta actually um, dress nicely. You gotta present yourself. You gotta fill out the long application and have your job history. What you need is your portfolio online and on Upwork to show your potential clients what you can do for them. So that is how Upwork works. Now, when it comes to the proposals, when you have a free account, it will include about 60 connects. Well, connects are pretty much the proposals that you put in. So 60 of them. And each application or proposal has about one to six connects that are required in order to put in applications or uh, proposals on the platform. So applications is proposal. And um, so one to six connects are required to put in an application to a potential client for a job that you want. So if you start out with a free profile on Upwork, you will get 60 of those connects. Now if you upgrade, um, it's about $14.99 a month you will get 70 connects to put in applications with those potential clients to get in front of them so you can acquire those jobs. So that's one of the great strengths of Upwork is that you actually can get in front of those clients with those connects and putting in applications every day, which is a part of the system that I um, that works for me and has consistently worked for me for the past five years is actually putting in those applications or those proposals and those connects and making sure that I get right in front of the potential clients that are actually looking for my work, looking for what I actually can provide for them. So this question is a pretty big one. Do I feel like freelancers should start out on Upwork? Uh, yes and no. In terms of that, if you are and have been a freelancer for a long time, quite some time, and you have a portfolio, whether you have it on your website or you have it on Dropbox or Google Drive, if you have those things already in place, then yes, starting out on Upwork is a great thing. But if you don't have a portfolio of work you can create and provide for your clients or potential clients, then I would say starting out on Fiverr is probably the better option. Because although, uh, Upwork and Fiverr are, are different. I feel like Upwork to me in, in a way is the upgraded form of Fiverr because people look at Fiverr like, oh, it's just a $5 platform. Although I have made quite a bit on Fiverr to the point where I required a $1,000 an hour client on Fiverr. Upwork is kind of a step up because in the eyes of people, Fiverr is kind of a little bit below Upwork. But I would say, yeah, that starting out on Upwork is kind of tough if you don't have a portfolio. But if you have a portfolio, yes, start out on Upwork. If you don't build up your portfolio through Fiverr, through connecting with clients there first. When it comes to Upwork, I haven't encountered anyone that's spammy on the platform, which is a fantastic thing because I actually have encountered a few people on Fiverr that have come to me with some spammy thing or they want free work. I've never encountered that on Upwork. So that is an absolute plus when it comes to that. So yeah, I, I'll let Tony close this video out for you, um, but let me let you know about my courses. I have created a few online courses that teach us how to freelance from home. One of them is about how to make money online with Fiverr, and the other one is about how to earn money online as a spokesperson. So you might have, might not have seen me in a, a number of ads on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, with celebrities in which I am talking about credit repair. So I'm kind of like the credit repair lady and whatnot. And so that's pretty awesome because I'm a spokesperson for this particular company that actually hires me for those jobs. So I teach how to actually become a spokesperson and earn income from home as a spokesperson. So those courses you can, um, since you're, you're uh, in your Tony's audience, I will give you 20% off my courses. You can just inbox me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Shantaria C and I will give you a um, discount to my courses if you would like. So I appreciate, I appreciate you again, Tony, for inviting me to collaborate on this video and I hope this helps your audience. Okay, so to start off with Fiverr, uh, I would like to start off with giving the pros of uh, Fiverr, okay? So what I think 
what made Fiverr my top pick for anyone trying to start a freelancing career on Fiverr. Okay, so number one of those uh, things I like about pl Fiverr platform is this. User interface is very, very simple. Okay, user interface is very, very simple. Most especially for, you know, non techy people. There are some people that are not that techy that want to, you know, start their freelancing career. They could be singers, they could be models, and they are not that techy. They don't, you know, feel very comfortable with some techy websites. Okay, so I'm here to tell you Fiverr is, has that very seamless user interface okay so once you visit the the website everything is laid out you have you know the sign up here you have the login here you have two options to sign up the email or the, your facebook so it's that easy so that's why i think fiverr is a very you know great platform to start off your forensic career because they have a, a very simple user interface so number two why i think uh, fiverr is a great place to kickstart is the approval process okay so if you want to be a seller on fiverr it's one of the easiest you know approvals for anyone thinking to start off their freelancing career okay unlike oppo yeah unlike oppo so once you sign up on fiverr which i mentioned they have two options to sign up the email option where you can use your email any email on this edge so far as it's functional so that you'll be able to receive inbox you can sign up with that on fiverr and also on the other hand you can also sign up virtually Eventually, every you know, every teenager, every adult I know has a Facebook account. I know not not all, but virtually everybody I know has a Facebook account. Okay, so once you sign up with these two on Fiverr, the approval is very very fast. They will get you approved immediately once you you know verify your account and you follow up other process. But you already you know accepted in this platform. So another point why I think Fiverr is a great place to kickstart your freelancing career is, is the Fiverr gig system. Okay, so Fiverr gig, once I mention gig on Fiverr, just know that I'm talking about services. Okay, so Fiverr works in a way that you, you have a store, so like your, your account bears a store, storefronts for services that you offer. Okay, so if you're a freelancer and you, you have multiple, multiple services you offer, okay, Fiverr gives you that privilege to open up gigs under those services let's take for example you are a graphic designer you're a website designer you're an audio voiceover artist you're a guitarist you're a model you're a video editor you're a content creator you're a writer you know and so on and so forth the, the, you, you can create gigs on fiverr okay and when your customer visits these gigs he or she will be able you know, to purchase your you know purchase your services according to these gigs so you have set, like multiple options to advertise you know your services and your your services and your skills on fiverr okay which i know on is not that much on other platforms i won't talk about that okay so i'll leave chantera to just you guys on that but i think this gig ranking this fiverr gig system is what i i love most when I, I got started and i know it gives everyone a, a a level playing ground as a new freelancer okay so you you have a enormous playing ground for you to display your skills and your services so another reason why i think uh, that uh, fiverr is a great place to start is their promotion okay unlike other platforms once you sign up on fiverr and create your account definitely you, your gig starts gaining impression all right your gig start gaining impression is that your gigs get you know presented to buyers people that are likely to buy from you if you did your 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 descriptions your tags and all that right if you got everything right fiverr on its own will start promoting your gig and if they notice that your gig is doing very well they even you know hand you over uh let's say rising talent and all that and fiverr if you notice just go on google and type website designer you see that you know they they, they they run ads they run ads to people's gigs okay if they notice that you're very good sellers you see so many ads running on google by fiverr running the ads to your your part to particular gig or to particular niche on fiverr so that's another great way of you know pushing the users which are the sellers on on fiverr which i think is a very great you know is a very great feature i found 
very very useful for new freelancers on Fiverr. I mean, they, 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 you, you sign up on their platforms and also help get customers to you. So what what can I say? That was one of the things that stood out for me when I got started, and I know it, it will very 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 useful for you as a new freelancer starting out on Fiverr. So uh, another great feature I love about Fiverr is the ability the the buyers request feature. Okay, so this buyers request feature is is one of my favorite features on Fiverr. So it gives you that uh, power to you know kind of interact with buyers directly, not directly like people you have not met, but they are buyers. Okay, so what happens in this buyers request is that people that need certain services, let's assume that I'm a writer. I'm a writer anyway. So as I'm a writer. I, I, I have gigs on underwriting, okay, and there is a a professor or someone that needs a business owner that needs an ebook put out and needs a ghostwriter, okay. So that person goes to the buyer's request and put up a request that he or she needs a writer, okay. So it's it, it stays on that buyer's request on that buyer's request section for sellers. So you as a new seller on Fiverr has the opportunity to bid for jobs, okay, to send requests to these to these buyers so when you send those requests the buyers go through them and see the one that fits okay so it's more like project bidding you are bidding for a project so once you are you bid for a project and the buyers they meet fit that you are fit for this role they will contact you and hopefully order so buyer request is one of the features i i love about fiverr that i think made it uh, the, one of the best platforms to kickstart your freelancing career so another one is a uh, affiliate system okay so you are not just if you're on fiverr fiverr has so many you know so many uh, areas and so many features okay one of them is affiliate market fiverr affiliates uh, program okay so if you are not that buoyant if you if you are not okay if you are not that successful at selling on fiverr or offering services but you are good at you know making referrals referring persons to a particular gig to earn a certain amount if you are good at affiliate marketing then fiverr has a section for that okay so what happens in that section although i'm yet to you know push it and in on that section but i'll tell you for free i've seen people in from the fiverr affiliate program all you need to do is just generate a hop link as you do in all affiliate marketing sites your own your own personalized link okay and you know promote wherever you want to promote those links and once they buy a gig on fiverr using your affiliate link you get a commission as much as 150 dollars per purchase okay so maybe i'll leave a link in the description so you check it out fiverr affiliate system so you are, you are aiming on fiverr not only by selling your services but by also being an affiliate on fiverr so the last but not the least why i think is my personal opinion anyway why i think fiverr is a great place to start up for new beginners or to start kickstart your freelancing career is the fiverr forum okay fiverr forum like uh, these the, a lot of learning goes on here although fiverr has a uh, their fiverr academy where they sell courses on what to sell and, and things to help you grow your business on fiverr but fiverr forum seems to stand out you know for me so what happens on fiverr forum is that a lot of fiverr sellers like there are millions of sellers on fiverr okay so they come together in a community and share their experiences if is a seller is experiencing maybe low sales or having any issue in his account he goes to fiverr community and updates okay once you update so many like so many sellers that have that same issue we also contribute to the trend and they discuss it out so it's a very like nice feature i, I love about fiverr and i think i think as a freelancer what we need more is interaction this guy is, is too big for for everybody you know to blue zone so there is need for interaction the, the more you interact with your fellow creatives you know the more you learn and the more you learn the more you improve in your game so Fiverr Forum is one place and one, also one feature I, I find very, very useful and I love about Fiverr and why I think it's a great fit for you to start your Fiverr free. So I'm done with the pros now. So let's go to the cons. What I think, why I think Fiverr is not that great, okay? The disadvantage I saw on Fiverr that, that makes me kind of want to leave, okay? So number one is troublesome buyers like there are so many buyers on fiverr that are out to you know scam persons 
you know i don't know if if it's because uh, there is uh, a lot of a lot of uh, sellers on fiverr okay and so many sellers are off offering services that are as low as five dollars okay so some buyers on fiverr actually take that as an opportunity you know to 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 make it hard for sellers you know to do their jobs okay you have so many troublesome buyers on fiverr which i i don't really like i i, I wish there is a way to you know push that i wish there is a way the fiverr system can, can push that but i i don't really like that you know that that part that fiverr has a lot of buyers that are out to frustrate sellers so another reason why i think uh, fiverr is not that great okay is lack of respect for sellers by Fiverr owners, or we call it customer care. Okay, if, if you have an issue on Fiverr, if you have an issue with a buyer, maybe after doing a job, a, a, a buyer comes up and says, no, I'm not, I'm not paying you, and cancels the order, and you get to take it to the Fiverr customer care, they seem so like a like like they don't they don't they don't pay much attention to sellers which we are the ones helping to you know keep running these platforms okay so most times they just you know leave some 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 things to die down there was one time i shared that i was scammed of you know 500 dollars on fiverr which I, I made a video go check that video out here okay and they did nothing about it till i took it upon myself to reach out to the buyer because i have a, his uh, contact address and you know got it resolved although i was in communication with the fiverr customer care but they, did, they didn't really do much and i have a lot of uh, friends that on fiverr that you know complains of the same the, the same thing so another so another point where I, I don't like about Fiverr, okay, that you might that might seem a challenge for someone starting out is the long clearance. So after another max complete on Fiverr, it takes a whole lot of you know time for you to be able to withdraw. It takes 14 days for you to withdraw your earnings on Fiverr. And I, I just if you're a normal seller and if you're a top protect seller, it takes only just seven days for you to withdraw your earnings, which I think that should be changed. I don't I don't really like that. I mean, after three days that it takes for the other to max complete it's you waste two weeks that is a whole lot of time and it really messes up the finances of freelancers and I, I think that feature is not that great and that's the downside of Fiverr that I don't like so I think I've done justice to this I've given the pros and the cons of this platform called Fiverr and why I think is a great fit for you to start your freelancing career I why I don't think is a great fit for you to kick start your freelancing career so I want you to weigh these two things I've said on Fiverr and also weigh Shanteria's opinion on this and I guess it will help you make decisions on which platform to kickstart your freelancing career the ball is in your court and i hope you make use use of it so to end this video guys please uh, i also have one request okay so i i will leave a link to Shanteria's channel please make sure you are subscribed to her channel and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel guys i give a lot of values on this channel so i i don't think you like to miss that i don't think you like to miss any of them so kindly subscribe hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of the awesome videos i drop on this channel so it's tony here and i'm signing out for today and i'll see you guys in my next video